That brings us to thin, we're going to look at dividends later, don't worry, it's still here, all right, not going away. But we're going to look at thin capitalization now. Okay, let me just take a sip. My very special brew in here. Okay, all right, so we're going to have a look. All right, thin capitalization. This is my favorite one. How many of you have heard of thin capitalization? Where did you hear that? Huh? Oh, good on you. Excellent. I'm glad. All right, good. I'm glad I'm the only one you've heard from. Good. All right. So now I know what you know. All right, thin capitalization. Uh, let me tell you a story. All right? It's a way you've got to have stories that's more important than just what this is. All right, so you know that, seriously, the Chinese consortium, they bought up 12 dairy farms in Victoria, 12.5% of the total production, milk production of Victoria, do you know, yeah. Australia. Do you know why they do that? Do you know why a Chinese consortium would buy 400 million Australian dollars worth of dairy farms, you know, with the cows? Mm. You know, a cow, right? Milk, you know, milk, right? Can you? They need milk, right? So, what do you think? Where do you think the milk is going? China. Back to China. Yes. Okay. We know that. All right. So, there's a motivation there. All right. So, let's think about that. All right. Balance sheet: four hundred million. Yes. Four hundred million. Okay. All right. Let's just see. Um, Let's just see that it makes, uh, and so the profit for the year, let's just uh, write that down as, uh, I've, got, I've got some notes here. I made some notes on this because I don't want to mess this up. Profits here. Got my notes. Yeah, so I've got income, 100 million. Possible. All right, just say it, 100 million. Make it very easy, okay? And maybe there's... Um, 50 million in tax, all right, or 50 million in expenses, okay, 50 million in expenses, and so what have you got left? We have 50 million, okay, 50 million, then you pay tax on that, so you may pay 15 million in tax, what's that, 30%, 30% tax, Australian tax. You earn the money in Australia, you've paid the tax, all right? So how much do you get back into China? 35 million, is that right? Hello? Right, you got the calculation. Did I do that in the YouTube? No. Okay, this is an extra bonus then. All right, so we've got 400 million. That is a, and that is using 400 million dollars of cash. Okay, so just pretend that this is your shareholder's equity and there's your asset, 400, 400. There's your income statement, right? So that is before thin capitalization. Ah, we're paying too much tax, 15 million tax in Australia. Oh, I think we can do better than that. Why don't we do this? Why don't we get the uh, bank, or why don't we get our other company in Hong Kong to loan that company in Australia that owns all these milk products. So let's uh, do 400 million. Okay, and let's loan, let's put in 200 million in capital and let's loan 200 million. And let's, that loan, let's make that 10%. Okay, so let's do the income statement again. All right, so we're getting 100 million. It's a loan from a Hong Kong company. 100 million. Okay, uh, 50 million expenses. Is that true? No, you've got 70 million because you've got another 20 million in interest. Is that right? Yes. Ah, so now uh, you're at 30 million. How much tax do you pay? Nine million. And then you've got 21 plus that 20 million. Now you've got how much money have you shifted into China or via Hong Kong? 41 million. Wow. Wow. There's 6 million moved just like that. 
And that's it. This is very easy to do because instead of putting 200 here, you just put 200 into your other sister company. You get your sister company to make the loan. There's no risk change. Okay, you can hedge for foreign currency and do everything. No change in risk. It's a pure tax planning strategy. Very easy to do. You don't have to get a loan approval. It's your own money. It's just that you funneled it through a third company, a second company. You with me? Wow. Wow. Can you do this? Sure you can. Wow. If we can do that, oh, let's try, let's try, um, oh, um, what can we do? What's another approach? We still need 400, right? Can we get more money in? Yeah. Let's just put in 20 million. And then we'll loan 380 million. Oh, wow. So what happens now? Now you've got 100. Now you've got 50. And now you're paying 38 million. How much tax are you paying? 12 million times 3, 3.6 million. Take it off, and you've got 8.4 left. Is that right? Yes or no? 8.4. How much do you shift now uh, back home? You're shifting out um, 38 million. And what are you shifting out? 38 plus 8.4, 46.4. Wow, can you do that? Sure you can. Right, take it to its extreme. This is thin, thin, very thin, wafer thin capitalization. Wafer thin, like very thin. And your risk hasn't changed. Because it's your own money. It's your own money. You, you have loaned from one related company to another. Okay? It's not like you're getting loaned from the bank. Right? Now, this second company is in a low tax, tax district. So when you get the interest back, you're paying lower tax anyway. Okay? That 38 million when it comes back, that's revenue, right? So this company that's receiving a loan interest has to pay tax, but it's a lower tax, but also it's going to offset any other administration against that. Wow, can you do that? No, you can't go that far. So that's why, and I, I don't know if it's very clear in the book, but what uh, companies have done, uh, and the OECD have agreed to this, is that you must not now, the, the loan, the loan to total capital ratio must not exceed 150%. All right? So this to here, what is the ratio? 50%. Okay. Uh, 380 to 400. What's that? You know, it's over 80%, right? No, 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 it's, no, 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 sorry, sorry. Um, no, let me, let me explain, sorry. Uh, the loan to your equity ratio, so this is 100%, okay? The loan to equity ratio, this is 1,700%. Huh? I'm just testing you. All right. All right. You got my point. All right. So this is extreme. All right. All right. So this is closer to normal. So the limits before you trigger something like a red alert in the tax authorities in most developed countries around the world is 150%. Okay. So you could probably bring this down to what, uh, 180, and then have 240, something like that. You with me? That's about 150, something like that. Is that right? It's close, all right? And I'll just, would you, you got the idea. Put your hand up, you've got the idea, right? That's thin capitalization.